Lie time. Lie time. Lie time? Lie time. <clears throat> Today we have a new battery by Lie Time. This is a rebranded company. They used to be Ampere Time. I'm not sure why they changed the name. Personally, I prefer their older name, but we have to call them Lie Time now. They are pretty good batteries. You can watch my old videos. Um, for a budget 12 volt battery, I've had no problems with them, but they do not have low temp charging protection. That's the biggest downside. Now they do have more expensive models that do have that function, but they cost so much that you're better off buying a name brand battery. There is lots of Chinese batteries that look just like this. And the reason people buy these is because they're so cheap. But what makes this one different, this is their latest battery, is that it's still cheap. It's under $400, but it's supposed to have low temp charging cutoff. So if you try to charge it and it's too cold, it won't let you. So that's the first feature we're gonna test. Also, I did a capacity test. Usually these pull about 104 amp hours. This one only pulled 101. And I also had another of their past name. You guys really shouldn't have changed your name. That is really stupid. I mean, think about all the people that search for you and all the advertising you guys spent, and now they're gonna look up lie time? Like, it's not even a good name. Like, who came up with this? Anyways, they usually pull 104 amp hours. I pulled 101 with my CBA4 battery capacity tester. So let's open it up and see if it's any different, if it's actually worth the money. They might have a new BMS that doesn't work. It might have leads that are disconnected. You never know until you open these things up. Actually not that bad. Looks like a pretty beefy BMS. The plugs are glued, which is a good sign. The solder joints did get up to the proper temperature. This looks like a nice BMS, actually. And welded terminals, and here's the temperature sensor. Let's test this thing out. And the glue they have on these pieces of foam is hard to take off. China is really good when it comes to glue and tape, man. We got it. So we're charging with 10 amps. We're gonna try this method first and then ice cold water second. Oh, it works, nice. Now let's see if they programmed it properly. We found that to be a problem in the past. So this is some salt water. And at this temperature, it should trigger. And it works, it actually works. Let's warm it up. And it works, nice, okay. Now this sensor should also do high temp protection, so let's test that next. And it works. So not bad so far, it's actually working. So temperature and capacity, it did pass those tests. Let's connect this to an inverter and see if it can handle a lot of current. I just did the capacity test, so this thing's at like 1%, so I need to charge it first. We're charging with 75 amps, so this is a test in and of itself. So this one in particular for trolling motors, it should be able to handle 300 to 500 amps for five seconds. That's why this BMS is so much bigger than their other models. So let's hook it up to a 4,000 watt inverter and see what happens. That would be 333 amps. So it should be able to run that for five seconds, right? So it can discharge quickly, but can it charge quickly? So this will give us 140 amps. Let's see if it can handle it. Oh, it's working. 74 amps and 72 amps. Holy cow. Oh, this one just disconnected. Yeah, it's the BMS, it's shutting down. At least the safety feature works. So yeah, we can only charge with probably 100 amps of current. These are adjustable, so let's give it 100 amps. And that's 100 amps exactly. And it works. So 100 amps is the maximum charge rate, which means we could charge this in one hour flat from zero. And for the beginners, that's considered a 1C rate. That's the charge rate. But the discharge is three to five C, or 300 to 500 amps. So I'll let this charge for a bit and then we'll come back. So the batteries are at like 50%, so let's connect an inverter finally. This is the best way to test an individual battery for surge capacity. And all we need is five seconds with 300 amps. We've got a pre-charge resistor because this is a pretty big inverter. 
these connections are solid. Now the best inductive load I have in my shop is my car lift. So I'm gonna run an extension cord. And if it can run that, it can run anything. But I don't think it can with this inverter. I think this inverter will trip before the battery does, but this will be a very fun test. And this is a 10 gauge extension cord. All right, lift will start in three, two, one. That load is massive. I can't start that lift with any solar generator that I own, but it did push very hard. It pushed better than like a 5,000 watt solar generator. So let's hook up some other loads. It was actually very impressive to even hear that motor try to start. Usually it trips everything. Now we have a 48 volt battery charger connected and two 1600 watt heat guns. And that's 4,400 watts. And this has a surge capacity of 8,000 watts. So I think the battery will trip first. So we're gonna fire these all up at the same time and it should last for about five seconds, it's said in the manual. Two, three, four, five, <laughs> it did it! Exactly five seconds! They were not lying! And this thing's under $400! That is impressive! Now let's run only the two heat guns and see how long it can run for. Alright, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten seconds! with the 100 amp hour battery. Now let's do a single heat gun. Six, seven, seven. Oh, that's 133 amps. I got too comfortable because we were pulling those larger loads. The continuous rating is only 100 amps, but the surge capacity is incredible. They were not lying about that surge capacity. And this heat sink is getting pretty hot. So pretty good. I'm actually impressed. This is fantastic for the money. I don't think we've ever seen a battery at this price point that has low temp charging protection and this massive surge capacity. This is like an AO lithium battery, but for cheaper, which is amazing. And everything else that they have made has been really good. I do not like the cheesy marketing. I don't like their website, but they make good batteries. No one's been able to complain about these at all. And the build quality is getting better over time in every single model that they release. And this BMS is actually made by them. It says lie time on the BMS. Before it was a VIP BMS and then they had some other weird BMSs, but I guess they're making their own stuff now. So they did a good job. I'm actually very impressed, especially that car lift. It did better than an AC 500 with a 5,000 watt inverter. So yeah, this is impressive. So I think it's worth it to do some long-term testing. This is not a clone. This is not like all the other Chins, Ampere Time, Redodo, all those weird words that they use for their names. Um, this is their own battery and it's getting better. Um, yeah, please leave a comment below telling me what you think about this battery. And I would buy this battery. I would buy more of these. This has all the features we need and it's at a good price. So that's pretty impressive. So I'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching. Bye.